大変長らくお待たせいたしましたただいまより未来のためのデザイン GPU ソリューションによる性能搭載密度およびエネルギー効率の最大化と題しましてスーパーマイクロドクタータウレンにご講演をいただきます Hello. Welcome to Supermicro section.、Uh, today we're going to talk about、uh, how we design a GPU optimized system for the today's solution and also for the future. My name is Tao. I'm from、uh, Supermicro San Jose headquarters.、Uh, so I'm vice president of HPC. So, today we have a few sections、uh, in this talk. The first portion will be what、uh, Subbanco has been done for the、uh, GPU solution、uh, in the industry. And also, I'm going to give some e x a m p l e how we design the GPU solution for now and for the future. And finally, I'm going to give you some e x a m p l e to see、uh, how GPU solution is being used as a today's application. So, for those who not quite、uh, know Supermicro,、uh, going to give you one minute's talk.、Right. Supermicro has been in the server industry for 21 years. We started from、uh, San Jose, Silicon Valley in California. Now we are a global company and ma three major sites San Jose,、uh, Netherlands in Europe, and also Taiwan in Asia. And we have 80 countries in the world. We have the present, and we also focus on server and storage for the last 20 years. And the company focus is green computing. That's why today's talk, I'm going to show you a lot of、uh, things about high efficient GPU s o l u t i o n Let's take a look at、uh, HPC first. Because GP, GPU solution at the beginning is for、uh, high performance computing. So, look at the uh, uh, past 20, 30 years of supercomputing. There are three phases. The first phase is on the left hand side is called SMP, MPP, those kind of、uh, mainframe supercomputer. And later on, in the early 90s, we have PC cluster. Now we are entering the third phase, which is optimized PC cluster for supercomputer. So, over the year, one thing never changed is pursuing the higher and higher performance,、uh, never stop. You can see there are a few challenges in the past year、uh, Teraflow challenge, and then now we are Petaflow challenge. And very soon, we're going to have Excelflow、uh, solution. Now, how to achieve that? One of the main t h i n g is power efficiency. Because without power efficiency, performance will not scale going forward. In order to achieve higher and higher performance, then the power efficiency has to be in the consideration. So, about two years ago, we predict the uh, solution, uh, efficiency solution is about 1.5 megawatt, and you can have one petaflop. But nowadays,、uh, because the technology i m p r o v e d so no longer that kind of number. Today, we can see、uh, one petaflop just requires 0.33 megawatt. And it's still not enough because going forward, 2020, we're going to have Excel、uh, cluster. And at that time, the efficiency has to be more than 100 times than today. So we'll be able to achieve the、uh, performance scalability. Okay,、uh, Just one quick、uh, market status. So, this is from top 500. So, you can see the GPU、uh, hybrid solution getting more and more popular and important. One of the data points is that number、uh, green 500, number 17, from number 1 to 17, is all about GPU solutions. So, which means GPU solution g i v e you a higher performance per watt, more than just CPU solution, that's for sure. Second thing you want to see is that 
not only high efficiency, but also today, the number one uh, Green 500 is based on super micro GPU solution, can give you much higher. Uh, that's why previous slide we see 0 0.33 megawatt, you can have one petaflop already. Okay, so later I'm going to talk about a little bit more on that uh, example. And finally, uh, recent couple years, we see GP GPU solution is beyond HPC. Uh, many other area like finance, uh, VDI, virtual desktop, and virtualization solution, they're all using GP GPU solution, okay? Therefore, you can see as today, the spectrum of the application by using GPU solution, a lot more than before. That's why the adoption of GPU solution is no longer only HPC people, but also in the enterprise, in the whole industry, okay? For example, entertainment, you had to use GPU power to do the movie rendering. I remember uh, Pixar, the anim uh, animation movie. It take about six months to animate just two hours movie. Now with the GPU, they can accelerate, maybe just a couple of weeks, they can have the movie started, okay? Now for Supermicro, uh, we've been doing a GPU solution since day one with NVIDIA. I remember 2008, we have the very first GPU solution that one was a separate uh, from the CPU box. So you can have a GPU boxes and with the cable connect to the CPU server. So obviously that wasn't very efficient because on the server side, you don't know what's happening uh, in the GPU solution or GPU status. So in 2009, we worked with NVIDIA to come out the very first one integrated uh, GPU server. So GPU will put it into the server and then every control is based on the server. So over the year, uh, we talking about the density, more and more GPU put into the server, and we talking about the efficiency because every GPU power consumption is very high, everybody know. So we need to consider power uh, consumption for each GPU solution. And then later on we have, of course, Intel have uh, Xeon Phi and other GPU or co-processor co solution come to the market. So we see GPU solution become a mainstream, uh, not only for HPC solution, but also for many other uh, market segment. So with that, uh, as I mentioned uh, today, uh, Supermicro has the most comprehensive GPU solution in the market any type of form factor, one you all the way to a very large system, uh, tower to the server solution, anything you can find, uh, you want, you can find in Supermicro. For example, on the uh, top portion, uh, we call it passive heatsink uh, solution, so mostly it's a Rackman or Blade solution, GPU Blade. On the bottom section is mostly it's workstation, so it's an active heatsink uh, GPU solution, okay? So I want to uh, show the next slide with all those selections. As I mentioned, GP, GPU solution is not only for HPC anymore, it's for many other applications. So on the right hand side, you can see, uh, this is just one example. NVIDIA using uh, our Supermicro solution to make a VDI example. VDI stands for virtualization desktop interface, and that will give uh, uh, other type of industry, uh, very good solution. So people can use that to have a massively uh, desktop remote access. And other solution like gaming system also using uh, GPU cluster at the back end to support and users gaming. So for the following few uh, slides, I'm going to uh, share with you how do we design uh, a GPU solution? What is the considerations we need to put it into, because GPU server is a different from regular server in a many ways, so I'm going to talk about that. So at least four things we want to uh, think about. The first one, of course, the performance. The reason we put uh, GPU inside the server because we want to have higher performance. So in one system today, uh, CPU only have 20, 30, maybe 40 cores, but you put a GPU inside, thousands of cores, uh, you can use 
and maybe a couple more GPU, then you have se several thousands core. Second consideration will be the mechanical design. GPU today is very uh, big, right? It's a, it's a full high, full length, double width, so it's very heavy, uh, and the mechanical design has to be able to support that. Thermal, of course, is a very major uh, design consideration. GPU consumes so much uh, power, so therefore, the thermal become uh, very challenging. The last one is power supply. Uh, one GPU can have 200, 300 watts, very easy, uh, a lot more than CPU. So the power supply need to be considered also. Okay, let's look at it one by one. So first of all, design for performance. This is just one example. So in a today's system, uh, a GPU required by 16 PCIe lens, right? Uh, Intel, for example, Ivy Ridge, you have 40 lens, two CPU, 80 lens, and how to utilize those uh, PCIe resource for GPU uh, is one very important thing. Um, so you can see this example is one using 1U solutions. So Michael have four GPU in 1U, and two GPU on the left-hand side CPU, uh, CPU one, and uh, on the right-hand side two GPUs on the uh, GPU two. Right. So what's the difference? Uh, many examples have different characteristic. Some of the uh, application they they wanted to have GPU on the same CPU, so they can have better communication. And some of the application they want to separate one GPU with one CPU, the other GPU with the other CPU, so they can have balanced uh, application running. So therefore, you want to choose the side, right? You want to put your two GPU, for example, on the left-hand side, both of them, or one on left-hand side, the other one on right-hand side. So that will affect your performance. Okay, and Supervine could have that choice, allow end user to do those kind of things. Inside the box, yes, very important. How about outside the box? Because sometimes GPU is a cluster. Uh, there are many GPU servers. They communicate through InfiniBand. Now the efficiency between GPU to the other GPU on the other server communication is traditionally very inefficient. So you can see that chart on the left-hand side. The GPU one will communicate to the CPU itself and go through InfiniBand switch and come back to the other server and go to the CPU and go to that GPU. So this is a very inefficient way to uh, do the communication. So some people have the research, they create a chip that you can communicate GPU to the other server GPU in a very efficient way without go to the CPU. So the chip will handle the networking uh, communication. So that's a very good example to uh, show you that uh, this kind of research is in the community is very important to improve the performance. Now we talk about performance. Now the second uh, section consideration is the power supply. Okay. Think about today's GPU, like I mentioned, is very high power uh, consumption uh, devices. Now let's say uh, you have very high efficient power supply. Right. Today, Supermicro power supply, uh, the minima is a platinum uh, power supply, and we have titanium also coming out. Now, this type of power supply and have very big uh, capacity, 2,000 watts, easy, because the GPU consumes lots of power. Now, in some situation, you got to have redundancy, right? And user required. So the redundancy creates some waste because the second power supply is simply just idle there and waiting for the support. So in that case, some people just wanted to have battery backup. Just in case there's a power shortage, the battery can support the system for a couple of minutes. So battery backup is one of the uh, options. The other thing is the management tool. So as you know, probably power management you know is from the, for the G, uh, CPU. But going forward, uh, vendors start to uh, think about the employment, uh, deployment of also the GPU power management. So that will make the power management more complete. So software become very important uh, going forward for the GPU uh, power management. Uh, one example here, for example, the 2U system, you can, in Supermicro, you can have uh, six GPU total, 
right? But many people using GPU maybe just a part of it. For example, they want CPU to GPU ratio is one to one. So you have two CPU, maybe you have two GPU, it's a balance. So they purchase like this kind of system, only put it into the two GPU. So therefore, when we design the power, of course we need to consider the maximum power, which is supporting the six GPU. But sometimes people don't populate six GPU, then it become a waste. So we wanted to have um, flexible uh, choices for people. If you know you only want to use one GPU or two GPU, then the power supply can be capacity smaller. Then it will save some money and also make it more efficient. So therefore, in Zoom Micro, we believe uh, it's more configurable uh, power supply. So in the, this, all those uh, on the screen is a GPU solution. And usually you have two power supply, maybe three and four power supply. And all those power supply is uh, supporting each other as a redundancy. And you can choose uh, what kind of power ca capacity that you want. For example, we have 240 watts all the way to 2,000 watts. Depends on your configuration and application. So that's a very important feature for, for end user. Now besides the power, uh, thermal is another consideration. In thermal, of course, traditionally, uh, we use in airflow. So they are fan inside the system to cool down the CPU memory. Now we have to cool down the GPU also. Right? So in that situation, is there'll be more consideration when you design the system cooling. Now, for example, on this one, you, you see there's a one use GPU solution, two use GPU solution, and all of them have multiple location for your GPU. Now, sometimes, as I mentioned, you put only two GPU, three GPU, different. So the hot spot in the server will be different also. So maybe we should uh, give a different airflow to different area in order to balancely cool down the entire system. So therefore, if customer choose just one side of the hot spot, maybe that side should have a stronger fan. The other side maybe just weaker or no fan. So it's fine. So those kind of fa flexibility is very important also. It's called configurable cooling. So the cooling I just mentioned, that was traditional airflow cooling. Now today we see more and more people are comfortable with the water cooling. Uh, in the past, people kind of uh, concerned and afraid about the water getting to your system. Now people are uh, more comfortable because of the technology improvement. So this example is through Michael work with partner. We come out with this kind of solution. It's called intrusive uh, the uh, water coming in to cool down the CPU and also the GPU and then going out as a hot water and become a cycle. And the cycle will go up to the rack and rack have some cooling fan, flow down the, uh, the, the temperature and the water going back to the system. So that become a very self-contained um, cycle. And without chiller, so it's very efficient that way. So you can imagine, uh, each system have two pipes. One is water going in, the other pipe is water going out. So just like the power in the rack, so each one of them have uh, on the side is a, a pipe in and out. So this one has been deployed uh, in some cases, some HPC cases also, and become very successful. And they have the showcase in supercomputing show. Uh, you can imagine in a supercomputer running in the show, it must be very noisy, but in this system, it's very quiet because it's just water in and out. Fan speed is very low, just cool down the uh, memory portion, that's it. Okay. So that was the water cooling. Now, another extreme cases is people say, okay, water cooling, why not just uh, cool down the entire system and make it submerge into the oil? So in that case, uh, there's no fan, no heating required, so entire system is submerged into the system. Now, at the beginning, that was three years ago, I remember uh, we have a large customer, they doing this kind of system, and then start, they pretty worried, right? So entire system is submerged into the oil. We do some experiment, do some uh, testing, and finally they uh, feel comfortable. So they start to deploy. 
over time, three years, already 40 tank, uh, thousands of uh, server submerged into the oil. And surprisingly, the RMA rate is almost zero because you put it into uh, lots of uh, parts you don't need, uh, fans, those kind of things, no hard drive, using SSD, things like that. So the RMA almost uh, zero. So that's very good news also. And the efficiency very high. PUE is under 1.5. Now another proof point of this type of solution is in Tokyo uh, Institute of Technology. If you remember last year, November Green 500 number one is that kind of solution. So they have one tank and submerged with uh, Submicro 1U GPU solution and entire uh, cooling system gone, no need, because they put outside the parking lot, and then the oil just floating, and system running just fine. And that one uh, give you number one in the green 500, and that is a 4.5 uh, gigaflop per watt. So you can imagine how efficient this system will be. And so uh, maybe uh, in here, we should be very proud that uh, green 500 number one is from Japan. So finally, uh, I'll give you some points. We mentioned about in the train, uh, the hybrid solution, GPU plus CPU, is a train. So they give you better performance, better efficiency. Of course, it will continue, and we see that coming. But in the meantime, there are many, many improving technology to support this kind of solution or this kind of architecture. And that gives the system builder like Supermicro is a lot more challenging than before because all those parts, all those computing resources has to be put into one system, and in the meantime, we need to take care of all the power, all the uh, thermal solution, and make it run very efficient way. Uh, so the other thing is that uh, configurable, like I mentioned, the cooling and the uh, power supply is very important, because the more and more compute resource you put it into the system, the less and less of the performance efficiency because it's very hard to utilize all the GPU in the same time, all the CPU in the same time, and, but sometimes application will be have higher loading, lower loading, it depends. So your configuration might be prefixed and using the configurable power and cooling for that fixed solution, maybe that will be the most optimized. So we give people that kind of flexibility. And then uh, the design is required for GPU application. So sometimes we have to application optimize, whether it's for HPC solution, for enterprise solution, it's a different type of uh, application characteristic. Then we need to design for that particular uh, vertical. That will be the most efficient way also. Finally, Supermicro has so many uh, choices, and that was the reason we wanted to give people uh, choices because today, if you're using cookie cutter solution, you take it, use it or not, it's there. So it's not fair to end user. So that's why we believe that application optimized for your solution is the best solution. So that's why we have so many choices uh, for our customer. So with that, I think I conclude 25 minutes just in time. Uh, is it, uh, do we have time to have some question? I think we have two minutes, one minute. Done? <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming. And hopefully uh, it's very helpful to you. If you have any question, uh, I'm going, going to be here for a while. And I have an uh, email address. Just uh, straightforward, send it to me. I will answer to you. Thank 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 you.